Merry meet everybody. This is a video response to Charming Fixie Flora's travel altar, and I just wanted to show you guys what I do for mine. And right now they're not all the tools I use are not in a bag because they're on my altar and they're getting charged. And I usually like to have them there when I'm not traveling, but when I do, they're all together. And I just wanted to show you what I do. So this it's a pentacle that I always take with me and it's always on my altar too. I absolutely love it. I usually like to put a piece of floor right there for vision and clearance. And I have little stones around my altar so this one's for earth. Green. Woo! And for fire I have this little orange stone. I, oops, I don't know if you can really see the color there. And this one is for air. This is clear, has a little white in it. Pretty cool looking. And for water, I have just a blue little stone here, nothing fancy. And that's always around this pentacle that I have. And to help clear the space, I do have shamanic smudging spray, which helps too. But I also have these little guys. Will that help? Woo! Okay, anyway. I love that sound, sorry. <laughs> and so that's why I usually like to take with me too, just to help clear the energies and the vibrations of where I'm, where I'm at. And what I like to put in the direction for Earth is I like to put this little black pentacle. I can't really see it very good, but it's like just a little black pentacle with my stones. I got some rose quartz that I use. And I got some quartz here. And an amethyst. That helps out too. And I also have other stones that I use for when I need to meditate and I'm from I'm at a different place. And those are over here. Pardon me. The stones that I use to meditate are just in this bag here. They're just all chilling in that bag. Got some labradorite, uh, lunar quartz, there's an amethyst, another rose quartz. So, just other stones I use to help balance me out. And if you can't tell, I love rose quartz. And, um, so that's what I do for the north. And for uh, fire, I just like to do like a little candle. Good example of this, something like this, basic and simple. And it's protected if I have to be outdoors or anything, which is a rare occasion when I travel. And for air, I have these little feathers. And I noticed ever since I started doing my shamanic gear, feathers have flocked to me. So here's a couple of them. And since the pine tree is for air, I feel these should be in the Aryan quarter too. So here they are. I use those for air. And for water, I like to use this little jar of sea sand. It has seashells at the top of it. And I find it very watery-esque, if you will. And I also use this little seashell. I think it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. I don't remember where I got it, though. And, um, Excuse me, for the goddess and god, either I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do because I have like um, a silver stone that I'd like to use in representation for the goddess, and I can use this little black stone that I have that kind of represents a darker side of life and maybe help balance out the female and masculine energies, kind of like a yin and yang thing. And I'll show them to you, I just have to get them out of my cauldron. And, uh, Here's my cauldron. Yay! Isn't she pretty? Okay. <laughs> so, I'm kind of thinking of using these, because this is like a silvery stone. It's dipped in silver, obviously. And the other stone I was talking about is just this little chunk of black stone. I feel it's very primal, and I love it. So I'm thinking of using those for, like, the divine essences of my altar, though I haven't quite decided yet. And in the past, I just used candles. So, it's just nothing too huge. 
but it's fairly basic, so I hope you enjoy seeing it, and maybe I'll give you some ideas. Love and light, blessed be.